Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Humans in Five. Australia features some amazing animals, kangaroos, emus, echidnas, koalas, and platypuses, to name a few. Don't forget to check out our recent episode on why platypuses glow. One of the beasties that's found in Australia that we both have a soft spot for is the humble wombat. Wombats are stocky, four-legged marsupials. They're about one meter in length with a small, stubby tail, and they love to dig. They eat grasses, sedges, bark, and tree roots, and are mainly active at dawn and dusk hours. As you can guess, there are some pretty unique features we see amongst wombats. They have a backwards-facing pouch to nurse their young, so that when they dig, their babies don't get covered in dirt. They also have super thick skulls, which can also help them out when they're digging their burrows. The word wombat comes from the Darug language, spoken by the indigenous Darug people who lived in the area that Sydney now occupies. Wombats were first described as badgers by European colonial powers, and they were called badgers by settlers who came to Australia for a long time. One particularly notable wombat feature is the shape of their feces. That's right, their poop is square. Researchers and wildlife lovers alike have puzzled over these square droppings for some time. Some theories suggested that wombat droppings were square so that wombats could stack their poo to mark their territory. Other researchers said that it was because they didn't have a lot of water in their diet, so their poo was quite dry and, well, brick-like. But happily, this mystery has been solved by an intrepid group of researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology in the US. Their work builds on a previous study where scientists opened up the intestines of a wombat that had been hit by a car. They found that wombats had two grooves in their guts that made their intestines more elastic. The team from Georgia revisited wombat guts and took a closer look. They looked at the structure of muscle and tissue layers of the intestines, and they found a big variation in thickness and stiffness. To see how this would shape feces in a living wombat, the team created a mathematical model to see how the gut tissue would function with rhythms of digestion. It turns out that different portions of the gut have slightly different responses depending on their stiffness. For example, stiffer portions of the guts acted like a rigid rubber band, contracting faster than the soft regions of the intestine. These softer regions contract and mold the edges of that square poo. Okay, so that's how the cubed poop is made, but why, oh why, would this arise as an adaptation? Good question. Many researchers don't have an answer for this one, and some put forward the idea that square-shaped droppings collect better for displaying territory again. What they do note is that wombats living in captivity, such as zoos, have more rounded poop, which may say something about their digestive health when wombats aren't living in the wild. We hope that this episode has answered some questions about the weird and wonderful world of wombat waste, and we'll see you next time on Humans in Five. And don't forget to subscribe.